Norman Thomas, six times candidate for president on the Socialist Party ticket, said the American people would never vote for socialism. But he said under the name of liberalism, the American people will adopt every fragment of the socialist program. When this bill is law, three strikes and you're out will be the law of the land. They are absolutely destroying the traditional Western civilization right before our eyes. And I consider it part of my responsibility as president of the United States to fight against negative stereotypes of Islam wherever they appear. The intent of the founders, that's what the Supreme Court is supposed to do. I declare, uh, I'm not going to pay for that. Whoa. Donald Trump want to protect our nation yeah. because he said that if he's in office, he will find the enemy and destroy the enemy. Welcome to the Abolitionists Roundtable, your all-access pass to the 2016 Red, White, and Blue Conservative Revolution. Join the conversation at 734-822-1600. Now here are your hosts, Del Marsh, Phil Stargell, and Janice Daniels. And good morning. This is Phil Stodgell of the Abolitionist Roundtable of Michigan. Today, there is going to be just a little bit of a change. Uh, it was originally scheduled for Dell Marsh to be in the captain's seat this morning. And uh, he is currently en route. And, uh, and so in his stead, I will uh, start the show off. And uh, hopefully he'll be here. And, uh, but until then, the mayor, the people's mayor and me, we will carry on. Good morning, mayor. Well, good morning. I just had to switch the microphone around. <laughs> We're, yeah. like, uh, reorganizing our studio here this morning with Dell on his way. Dell, we wish you the best of um, traffic and luck and uh, hope for your safe arrival at the studio with us at some point in this hour. But meanwhile, Phil is sitting in the captain's chair, and we've got a couple of issues that Dell wanted us to talk about. There's some really important news going on today, which are in the past few days. It's amazing. Yes, and since we're going to change the format a little bit uh, and get away from the agenda, uh, that that probably would have happened anyway because of uh, it can, can, uh, the what's events, going on, sure. the events in yeah. uh, Turkey and uh, France and Dallas. E even in Dallas. Yeah. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, I think uh, uh, I want to I want to quickly talk about this day of rage. What is what is the day of rage? I mean, what's the what's the uh, well the, apparently Phil. From what I'm reading from the Dallas News, the Black Lives Matter, or no, the anonymous group, are called, anonymous? called for, the anonymous group called for a day of rage with Black Lives Matter in downtown Dallas and other cities, supposedly to take place Friday, but the time passed and there was no great day of rage that appeared to be happening. Hmm. So I don't know. It's all in flux, I suppose, because there are anarchists around the world that are trying to uh, create chaos. Well, Del, look who welcome to the, in, studio. Uh, in the studio. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God you're yeah. safe and sound. Thank you. <laughs> I got to do a little construction. It was, uh, yeah, when I ran into it, it was a little slower than I anticipated. Yeah, yeah. So, Michigan, yeah. Um, what is it? Yeah. Four Round seasons year, and oh, uh, yeah. and barrel season. Oh, yeah, boy. yeah. Well, in yeah. fact, I oh, wanted to. Everywhere. I wanted to compliment the men who built 275 because heading north, it's a beautiful stretch yeah. between oh, yeah. 696 yes, yes, and, yes. and M14. It's a beautiful stretch. So I'm real proud of our. Men who build the roads in America, those are the, the producers. Yes. Those are the producers. Those and are the people that make life easier to live. Yes, it does. And, boy, I tell you, it, is, uh, it has always been a thing about Michigan that they call it the Motor City. And, and I tell you, if you don't have motor, if you don't have wheels, uh, you, it's been that you can't get around in Michigan. Yeah. Because, you know, we didn't have a, a mass transit system like they have in New York and Chicago and places like that. Yeah. But that's that's supposedly that's going to that's going to change. Well, the problem is, is that Detroit was not designed for a mass transit system. Yeah. We have we don't have that 
um, urban center and then in all of the mm -hmm. outlying uh, areas being simply rural. Uh -huh. We have suburbs that have spread around yes. the, the cities, uh, major cities, and we've built infrastructure and we've built you know buildings yes. and and shopping centers and and separate areas because we're the motor town the motor capital of the city. world yeah. and, and, and not just that if they if they start building all these trains it's going to slow down the production of uh of the sale of uh, automobiles this is a big automobile town oh, here. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah and and that's that's you know the biggest um uh, pro uh producer of automobiles is right here in the motor city and i'm proud to be a part of oh, it oh yeah yes yeah, so, yeah, so, but, uh, man, Phil, did you see the, uh, uh, just what happened uh, last night, you know, it, it, uh, besides uh, France and Nice, the uh, uh, the terrorist attack, you, you know, that uh, killed, uh, I think, what we did, they up to around 80 people and more than 200 uh, that were injured. But also there was a coup last night going yeah. on. Oh, did you right. see that yeah. right there? So you see that the global is, uh, while this uh, community organizer is in, is in office right now, they're doing everything that they can to, to uh, maintain power, uh, to, uh, to change the, uh, uh, the, the structure, the, the laws, the rules. Um, and so, uh, you, you know, we're in a real, real desperate time right now. Uh, really desperate time. Uh, I'm, you know, I just wanted to mention that. I know you in the driver's seat, so I'm gonna let you go ahead. But yeah, I want to just again, um, you know, say to the people of uh, Anise that you know our prayers are with you, uh, and hopefully we can get some intelligence uh, that we can work together and we can take these guys down. Yeah. Because they the JV team. If the if the community organizers say they the JV, let's go ahead and put some real a uh, real uh, uh, pro team together yes. and take them down. Take them out. We we can take them down. Yeah. Uh, the thing about it, it doesn't it seem that, you know, like France, yeah. in, in your agenda, yeah. you talk about the fact that that uh, that they're going to to uh, continue with their what is it their state of emergency? Yes. They're going to continue with it, and yeah. you ask the question: Is it going to help? Yeah. Because regardless, I mean, how long they the, these state of emergency has mm -hmm. been in effect? Ever since last uh, November, and yes. when uh, Charlie Abdo was, uh -huh. wasn't that uh, what started it? Yes. But there has been several incidents. I mean, horrific. And you incidents. see, they get more and more consistent yeah. too, yeah. Uh, as we uh, go along. Uh, just we didn't had it here in America, France. You know, uh, like mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, France and Europe. Uh, and so, yeah, you're right. I mean, in Paris, it's getting more and more consistent. The, the enemy is getting more and more emboldened. And then, well, you know, it's that template that's yeah. being set where um, uh, France declares martial law, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's just a, a precursor to worldwide martial mm -hmm. law. I yeah. believe it. I mm -hmm. really do. Yeah. I do think that, that um, the, the Arab Spring that was started in 2010 is mm -hmm. still going on and is still yes. the impetus, the driving force behind yeah. all of this this anarchy that we are seeing in the streets uh, in fact turkey turkey is is an islamist supremacist state yes. mm -hmm. although they have been uh, friendly with the united states yeah. for political reasons i mm -hmm. really wonder if this entire uh, coup uh, attempt from yesterday mm -hmm. is not the beginning of the end of america's use of the military bases in turkey which are so mm -hmm. vital yeah. to mm -hmm. our interests in yeah, the middle it, east it could very well be and but but you notice that 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 model is being uh, put forth to us and the same thing is being done here. Right. You, you notice that every time you look around, it, it, it's something like, like what's going on over there. And what happens, there's one consistency that after every incident, there's a call for gun, more gun control. <laughs> of course, yeah. It, it, yeah. It, that's you know? true. It is a call and, for that. And so... I mean, now even after, and, and it's another call for for us to not be 
Islamic phobic. Right, right. Exactly. Is, is that idiotcy? Yeah. And, and, you know, and they always concentrate on this. I was, you know, when you, you just watch the CNN and the, and the rest of them, they tell you, you know, well, hold on, this is in predominant uh, Muslim, uh, it's predominantly on Muslims in Muslim areas. And when we say words like, well, they come into the West and they, they, they want to attack Western values, yeah. uh, just like when uh, Theron uh, uh, was uh, in a uh, debate with a guy from, um, from Dearborn. Mm -hmm. it, you know, that's what he wanted to point out, it, that it's only a small percentage in the Western, in, uh, Western uh, nations, but they are coming West. Yeah. And, matter of fact, and we're importing them, too, yeah. so, it, it, so that these attacks can be more consistent. And we react to it. You notice when, I'm uh, talking about we bringing them from all <laughs> on the other side of the planet to, yes. to to Western nations in big numbers and big yes and here and then the the rumor is that Hillary Clinton is going to double down on that at oh, least man. can you believe that. it I couldn't yes, believe she gets that to be the, the the president so this is uh, should be enough incentive for everybody to uh, to do whatever possible yes. to keep the witch from the west <laughs> uh -huh. the wicked witch yeah. of the west yeah. Yeah. you're talking about the crooked yeah. the crooked witch yeah. of the west yeah. hillary capone yeah. <laughs> we're talking yeah. about hillary capone <laughs> but but you notice how quickly they jumped on Newt gingrich for yes. suggesting mm -hmm. that we uh uh you know react to this sharia uh -huh. i mean you know uh, for me i'm trying to figure out how is it that we allow Saudi Arabia and other countries to to send mosques and build mosques. That's right. And send people over here representing their their form of Islam, which is a uh, very very high and very uh, 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 packed with Sharia compliant uh, uh, mosques. That's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, uh, we said uh, that Syria, we, you know, we didn't have the mosques and everything. So what did Saudi Arabia say? Okay, we, we, we'll send some mosques. We'll send the money to build mosques over there. Mm -hmm. But why don't you do them in your country? That's you right. got all mm -hmm. of this this potential because of the Hajj with all of those. Take those people and put them there. But they don't want them they there. Don't. They want them here mm -hmm. and, and, and all along with their doctrine. And then we defend their doctrine, just like when Newt said, you know, if they're sh uh, advocates of Sharia, we should deport them, send them back wherever they came from. Mm -hmm. I agree. But what happened, we got people jump on him. Oh, well, how are you going to determine, you know, who's this and how are you going to well, use it as a Which is right, step? because they got something the mayor pointed out. They got something called Takiyah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so they can lie like a rug. Well, uh, the thing, I, I yeah. say this. If you have a mosque mm -hmm. and you are an advocate for Sharia, it, because what, what they say is when you ask them about Sharia, they mm -hmm. tell you that Sharia is nothing but to make you a better Muslim. Yeah. And, and, and well, I mean. Matter of fact, I know, heard a guy even refer to it as their constitution. Yeah. It, you, yeah. Well, there's no other constitution. Yeah. If you're not going to take a pledge to this constitution, That's right. then, you, you know, I, I don't want you here. Yeah. You well, know, that's interesting because uh, Phil and I were talking about yeah. the Constitution of Turkey. Yes. Uh, you know, you hear on the news that the coup was to reestablish the Constitution of Turkey. And mm -hmm. so all of us Americans, us good Americans who don't like to do any research on issues, we all say, oh, yeah, Constitution, life, liberty, mm -hmm. pursuit of happiness. But the Turkish Constitution, if you read it, and yes. I did, yes. uh, I mean, not the whole thing because, yes. you know, it's hundreds of pages or a hundred and some pages. But what it says, it starts in every single article. It starts like this. Everyone has the right to demand respect for his or her private or family life. Hmm. Unless... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it unless, is. Yeah, wow, unless, it didn't take long. <laughs> unless the, the right uh, is infringes upon the law of the land. Mm -hmm. uh, and everyone has the right to not be forced to work. Okay, people cannot be forced to work unless <laughs> their work... <laughs> That's a lot of unless. Yeah, it, it includes to the benefit of the state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so every single article of this Constitution starts with this broad right 
and then it includes the unless it yeah. doesn't comply with the state. So mm -hmm. their constitution is all based upon state control mm -hmm. of everything, yes. mm -hmm. everything. And so when we all cheer and and promote the uh, establishment of the or the reestablishment of the Turkish constitution, mm -hmm. we're not really understanding what that means. Yeah. So so Turkey is a very complex country. In it fact, is. I've been studying this guy, Gulan, Fadula Gulan. This is a man who has a worldwide network um, infiltrating ch uh, charter schools, businesses, charities, cultural centers across the world. He was in concert with Erdogan, the president of Turkey, and then they had a big power split. Mm -hmm. And so he was expelled from Turkey. He was allowed to move to the United States in the 1990s. Mm -hmm. And even though he was identified on a terror watch list, he was given permanent resident stat alien status to live here in the United States. He lives in a heavily guarded compound in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And from this compound, he is directing a worldwide network of infiltration into, as I say, charter schools, etc. And he comes across as this very peaceful and very gentle and very loving and kind imam, cleric. Something like we, what we uh, saw of uh, Ayatollah Khomeini, remember? He was, uh, exactly. they, they, they put him on time. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so, but remember who's infiltrated our government at the highest level, mm -hmm. the Muslim Brotherhood. Yes. Remember who's infiltrated our media at the highest level, mm -hmm. the Muslim Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. So everything we hear and see, except on great radio stations like Wham Radio, yeah. Yeah. is being um, influenced mm -hmm. or filtered. And, and believe me, one of the guys in, in our homeland security, he's, yeah, uh, Muhammad Alibiari said that America is the most Sharia-compliant country in the world. And that is absolutely wrong. You see, that's how they yes. distort. Again, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, America's Constitution. The yes. Constitution is the most Sharia-compliant yeah. document. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that is not true. That's exactly I was right. a little bit disappointed when I saw Brigitte Gabriel last night on Fox News, and she was actually... Um, uh, condoning or supporting uh, a group of Islamists here in the United States that have that more gentler, kinder. Um, oh, uh, actually, I know it's the uh, those are the, like the. Um, oh, we interviewed it's, it's, the young it's guy. The, you know, the, one time they are the uh, the. Ooh, uh, yeah. It's the suit. What, what is that? Uh, well, anyway, I, I can look it up. Well, here I, I was. We pointed out you right, and they are they are the example of of, of uh, moderates. And one of the guys uh, we talked about um, a couple weeks, a couple months ago was, it was from Sweden. Uh, he, it was a shopkeeper that tweeted that we should all follow the, now this is what, this is what a Muslim said he, from that particular sector of uh, Islam. He said that we should all follow uh, the examples of Jesus uh, this Easter, because he wished all his uh, Christian friends a uh, happy Easter that we should all follow. And he put this on his Facebook, should follow the examples of uh, of Jesus and, and love one another. Well, when he sent out that tweet, he emboldened somebody because one of the Muslims, the extremists, got... Uh, got highly offended, went to a shop and stabbed him and killed him. And so, uh, and, 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 and this guy was the example of a, a moderate, what, real moderate. And, they, and those people, uh, the, the group that she had on there, are ones that did reform uh, their sector of uh, Islam. Well, if you remember correctly, yeah. we interviewed a young man That's from right. this group, uh -huh. and I was challenging him on various yeah. tenets of the Quran. Yes. And he was suggesting that takiyah, which means to lie uh -huh. to an infidel to support Allah, yeah. he was suggesting that that meant, well, that, that means that if you're being attacked by someone and you have to protect yourself, you can lie. Yeah. The, the words that they use are yeah. so um, distorted from what we know the words right. to be, justice, yeah. Yeah. freedom, yeah. peace. They all have definitions that are contrary to Western civilization, and so that's why Newt Gingrich was absolutely 100% correct when he said Sharia law is incompatible with Western civilization. Well, I, I think that since 
we are we have so many defenders of this. We yeah. need to set a policy as to what and is and what is not acceptable as a uh, as a, as a religion, and and uh, because of the fact that from all uh, accounts, to me, uh, Islam is not a religion. I absolutely it's a, it's agree a, it's, with you. It's, you know, it's a it's a it's a it's a political ideology, yes. and it's a complete system of how you conduct your life. And it's now, hiding behind our documents. That's right. That protected. That's right. That's they right. are taking the protected status of religion and, and, and using it for their good. Something like uh, Valerie Jarrett said in her thesis in college that she would use the, right. the, uh, the documents of this country yeah. to advance Islam. I have long now, said that America's goodness is going to destroy their greatness. Exactly. Because so, we don't stand up for concrete principles. Yeah. We expand them to include everything. See, that, that Sharia uh, has, is, uh, you know, it, it encompasses other things other than just religion. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way out into uh, yes, the, a form the, of the behavior too. of right. the individual yeah. To uh, uh, to to how he has to to uh, to perform to to comply with this. Well, if you're caught stealing, you get your hand cut yeah. off. So, so is that a is that a, a so tenet of religion? Are we going to protect that? Yeah. Are we going to protect that? Yeah, uh, exactly. Portion of uh, the stoning people and stuff like that. Exactly. Are we? So you know they uh, then they always point to what some of the things in the Bible mm -hmm. are. This you know, but. They never went through the reformation that the Christianity. Well, went they through. had the exact opposite exactly happen right. to their supposed book. Our Old Testament has uh, uh, incidences of violence, but yeah. our New Testament, the covenant of Christ, yeah. coming to uh, give peace to the world, That's to bring right. peace to the it world. We right. went from uh, uh, old style retribution to I, new I style, I I I yeah. to mm -hmm. new style. Love your neighbor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love yourself, love yeah. God, uh, you know, the and whole And then, mixture. who was it, uh, Loretta Lynch, that tried to invoke uh, love to the, the Muslims? And they had no no alternative to that. They had no, uh, no, no, uh, no, uh, nothing compatible to that on their side. They That's don't right. say anything about love. Everything is about smiting and cutting heads off. That's right. And that was the evolution of their book. Yeah. You know, the Quran started yeah. out as more of a book of peace, and, and apparently no one in the region wanted to accept Muhammad with his new uh, supposed religion or ideology, yeah. and so he became violent, and, and that's when they started killing and people. that's when and he started his crusade. Yeah. Yeah. Now, exactly. we are coming up on the break. we got about two minutes to go before the break. Uh, Dale, I want to turn this over to you, yeah. and you can get into your well, agenda. Well, and, no, well, here, again, I just want to mention, you know, we, we mentioned the coup. We mentioned France. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we mentioned how, uh, you, you know, it's getting more and more consistent. Uh, uh, and now, you know, this, the second thing we can mention is, uh, matter of fact, here before we, uh, we we go any further because we're talking about this, in and, and, and respond to uh, what Newt Gingrich said, I'm going to just play a little bit what, uh, what Obama said um, that's in, uh, in his reaction to, um, to Newt Gingrich, just a little bit. Derek, can you play 421 for me, please? Uh, it's been a difficult several weeks here in the United States, but the, the divide that exists is not between races and ethnicities and religions. That's not yeah. true. It is between people who recognize the common humanity of all people. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on for a minute. What 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 is he saying? <laughs> he said it's that between, but it's the, it's between people who understand the common human man. This is all. I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> what, what? Bunk. And so he, he coming up with just some. He trying to manipulate us now. Okay, dear, go ahead and finish. I'm sorry. And are willing to build institutions that promote that common humanity. And those who do not, 
Those who would suggest that somebody is less than them because of their tribe or their ethnicity or their faith or their color. And those impulses exist in all our countries. Yep. All right. Hold it there, Derek. We're going to finish that on the other side of the break. If you'd like to join the conversation, give us a call at 734-822-1600. I almost forgot there. All right. We'll talk to you on the other side of the break.